Good thing you're my brother and not someone I was gunning for. Sure is, Johnny. You'd have been a dead man the minute you touched your gun. Well, maybe the rescue has slowed you a little, Vic. I should have known better. You been waiting long? About an hour. Now it's not long to wait. We've been waiting three years. Anybody ask questions? Well, we're thinking them up, but nobody asked them. A lot of ground between here and Diablo. You sure it's going to be worth the trip, Vic? Yep, Johnny, I'm positive. Come on. years for robbery. It's only been three. He must have escaped. Yeah, and he's heading here to carry out his threat to kill Luke for being the man who captured him. Gosh, I better ride out to the Elms and get Uncle Luke. Wait a minute, Tag. Tell Luke that there's a telegram here for him, but don't tell him what it's all about. Huh? Go on now and do as I ask, and remember, just say there's a telegram. All right. Oh, Annie. Oh, you, you, what, what are you doing? You can't do that. Well, get this down on your regular form and bring it back. Then tear up the original message and forget it. What? I can't do that, Annie. It's against the law. Oh, please, Walt, and don't mention it to anyone. No, sir. I can't do it. Can't do it. Impossible. I... I'll be back with this in ten minutes. Luke will never know the difference. Now, what's going on under that pretty blonde head of hair? An idea to keep Uncle Luke from getting shot in the back. I hope. You gonna tell me what it is, or do I have to start guessing? Oh, it's so simple, Lofty. You'd never guess. Oh, I thank you, Miss Oakland. You know, I really appreciate your estimate of my intelligence. I just figured that if Uncle Luke wasn't here, he couldn't be shot. Oh, that is clever. No, I'm serious this time, Lofty. When Vic Carver gets into town, Uncle Luke will be miles away. That message I gave Walt will see to that. You mean you think Luke will run from that killer? <laughs> on the contrary. I know he won't run if he thinks Carver's on his way here. Oh, and you're not going to tell him? That's right. I can't see any sense in Uncle Luke being a target every time he passes a likely ambush spot. No, if Vic Carver's escaped, there'll be a posse after him. And he won't have time to wait for Luke's return, threat or no threat. And you think the posse will either push him on or capture him? Huh? They will. Or we will. Oh, yeah. Yeah, he'll probably ride right down the middle of town, walk up to us and hand over his guns. <laughs> Simple as that. Oh, Lofty, I don't expect him to just ride into town. The message said there was another man with him. So, when a stranger gets into town, starts looking around and asking the wrong questions, well, we've got to work from there. Sure, then all we have to do is follow the stranger, and he'll lead us to where Carver's hiding out. It's a good idea, Lofty. Sure glad you thought of it. Yeah. Telegram that's so all fired important. Mrs. Allen gave me a bag of my favorite hard rock candy. Have some? No, thanks. 
Frank. No. Uh, Marshal Benton needs my help over in Canyon City. I read it, and I've got your bag all packed and ready. You can catch the afternoon stage. Boy, Uncle Luke's going to be mad at that coyote when he finds out you're sending him on a wild goose chase. He'll skin you two alive when he gets back. According to that telegram, Vic Carver should arrive here sometime tomorrow. That gives us just three days. And all we can do is stand around and wait for a stranger to ride in and start asking questions. Too many men who'll try to stop him. It's awfully good with a gun, Annie. Let's find out how good. Right. Those two cowboys that just came in, Albert, what room did you give them? Uh, the 101. Is something wrong? Well, I can't say for sure, but I'd suggest you stay behind that desk, just in case. Carver. That means you too, mister. Should have told you, kid, the law in this town is real anxious. They bust right in on a man with no reason to talk. Yeah, it seems so. I wouldn't call arresting an escaped convict no reason, Carver. You're going back to prison, this time for a permanent stay. You folks must be working on some wrong information. I didn't escape from prison, I was released. Released? Since commuted is out of paper read. Show it to him, Vic. Yeah. There you are, Annie. He's right, Lofty. How he got it, I'll never know. Just like it says there, all legal and proper. Two years off for good behavior. I got friends where it pays to have them. Well, you don't have any friends in Diablo. Why'd you come back here? To pay an old debt. I'm a guy that likes to keep the record straight. You bring him along to help straighten it? He used to write alone, Carver. Say, my manners must have got rusty in the last three years. This is my kid brother, Johnny. Say hello to Annie Oakley, kid. Pleasure, miss. Circumstances were different. Maybe I could say the same, Johnny. Family affair, huh? Mm, something like that. The kid's been wrangling for a living. Can you imagine that? Yes, I can. But you're going to teach him to make a living the easy way, huh? Mm, I might. Make a big man of him, Vic? Like yourself? A man's just as big as his gun makes him. And I taught the kid good. Real good. You keep learning things from your brother, Johnny, and you're going to end up real dead. Come on, Lofty. Let's get back to the sheriff's office. Hey, speaking to the sheriff, Annie, uh, how's your Uncle Luke? How come he didn't join the welcoming committee? He's out of town. On business. How long is he going to be gone? I don't know. I don't know where he is or when he'll be back. Well, uh, give him my best. If you see him before I do. Why, you murderer. Come on! Come on! I said, I always pay my debts. Come on, Lofty. Thank you, Johnny. Like I said, miss, my pleasure. Just a few hours in town, you got them falling right in your eye. Yeah. You know, I could go for that little gal myself. Yeah, but that uncle of hers. She never take to me after I stop him breathing. Well, it's too bad. Yeah. Sure is. Yeah, 
man with no posse on his trail, Annie. Your whole plan's gone sky high. Vic Carver can take his own sweet time about pot shot and loot. I knew that the minute I took a look at Vic's release form. We've got to change our plans. And fast. And Luke will be back as soon as he finds out that telegram was a phony. What can we do but wait? Well, we could take a shot in the dark. Huh? What did you think of Johnny Carver? Oh, I don't know. I guess he'd be all right if his name wasn't Carver. Yeah, that's what I thought. But his name doesn't make him what his brother is. What are you getting at? I don't know myself, Lofty, but it might be worth a try. Tag! You, Johnny Carver? That's right. What can I do for you? For me, nothing. But my sister wants to see you. Fine. Who's your sister? Annie. I'm Tag Oakley. What does she want? How should I know? She's a woman. Yeah, I noticed. Come on in a minute, Tag. I'll be right with you. All right. Hey, Johnny. I don't like it. That girl's up to something. Yeah, that's what I'm hoping. Hurry it up, will you? I got things to do. Johnny, I'm glad you came. Won't you sit down? Sure will. Uh, you're quite a surprising woman, Annie. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, you look so, so different than at the hotel. I'm counting on your being different too, John. Believe me. Uh, I, uh, I ask you here to talk, John. Talk? Now, listen. Maybe a little of both, will you? What have I got to lose? Just your freedom, or, or maybe your life. What do you mean? I mean, I know your brother Vic came to Diablo for one reason, to kill my uncle. Johnny, I'm playing a hunch with you. A hunch that says you don't want to spend the rest of your life running. I tricked my uncle to get him out of town. I know where he is and when he'll be back, but if Vic's still here, somebody's going to get killed. And I'm counting on you, Johnny, to get your brother out of town. Maybe you're spreading your hunches a little thin. I chase better than I run. Well, that's Vic talking, Johnny, not you. He's doing all right. Is he? He's always had plenty and never had to push a herd to make a dollar. But he's pushed humans, Johnny, some of them to death. Vic's never been convicted of a killing. I know, but he's killed. Is that all that bothers you about killing, Johnny? Being convicted by a court? I sure wish I knew what was going on in there. Relax, Lofty. Annie's big enough to take care of herself. Yeah, that's what I'm afraid of. She never prayed herself up like that for me. She never had to. Be honest with yourself, Johnny. Just because you're Vic's brother doesn't mean you're cut out of the same mold. I never said it did. He called it himself. A man's as big as his gun makes him. Do you really believe that? I don't know of anything that argues more convincing. And Vic taught you. Real good. That's right. What are you doing? I'm going to argue with you, Johnny, with a convincer you'll listen to. Come on outside. I want to teach you a new game. The game's called Texas Draw, Johnny. All you have to do is shoot the gun out of your opponent's hand. You're kidding. I was never more serious. Now, look, Annie, I've heard you're pretty good with a gun. But... Real good. I'm not going to draw on a little gal like you. What kind of a man do you think I am? Maybe I'm just fixing to find out. Maybe you're afraid. You are serious. I just want to find out how big that gun makes you, Johnny. Stand over there. On three. You count. One, two, three. No matter how fast you are, Johnny, there's always somebody faster. You could be dead now. Think about it. What's the shooting, honey? You okay, sis? We're just settling an argument. 
Sure, Tag, I'm all right. In fact, I think everything's going to be all right now. What do you think, Johnny? always someone fast. I taught the kid good. We're just settling an argument, love. Say hello to Annie Oakley, kid. Hello, Johnny. I'm glad you came. You know, I could go for that little gal myself. If Vic's still here, somebody's gonna get killed. I don't like it. She's got something on her mind. Johnny, I'm working on a hunch about you. A hunch that says you don't want to spend the rest of your life running. A man's as big as his gun makes him. That's Vic talking, Johnny, not you. I taught the kid good. Be honest, Johnny. Just because you're Vic's brother doesn't mean you're cut from the same mold. A man's as big as his gun makes him. Johnny, not you. I taught the kid good. Be honest, Johnny. Just because you're Vic's brother doesn't mean you're cut from the same mold. A man's as big as his gun makes You could be dead now, Johnny. You could be dead now, Johnny. That's the way it is, Vic. I went out. And there's nothing you can say that'll change my mind. And if you're smart, since when are you telling me what's smart? This Oakley Dame put a bug in your bonnet, okay. But don't think it's contagious. I came here to pay a debt, and I'm going to pay it, with you or without you. I want to stick with you, Vic, but not through what you've got planned. You're free now. We can hit a new territory together. Maybe start a spread of our own, a whole new life. Oh, save the sermon, kid. I've been doing all right my way. This working from sun up to sunset don't fit my taste none and never has. And he says she knows of a wrangling job that's open. Said she and Lofty will take me out and set it up if I want it. You said you want it out? Well, get out. Give yourself a break, Vic. Why should I start? Nobody ever gave me a break. Then be smart. For once in your life, be smart. Your uncle for your brother. Vic! It's Vic! Yeah, your brother, Carver. That story about your wanting a job was just to get us out of town so he could grab tag. No, Lofty, you're wrong. Lofty, tell him the truth. He doesn't know how, Annie. He's rotten, just like his brother. Hard Rock! Yeah, and there's another piece over there by the door. Oh, Lofty, he's left us the trail. Go on out and get the horses. Oh, Johnny, I'm sorry. You stay here. We're going after tag. Sonny, while well, I go see your sister about a trade. She won't make any trade with you. Yeah. You see, 
Venus, Annie. When oh, Tag's inside the shack. Hand me that rifle, Austin. All right, Oakley, you got your deal. Get on your horses and bring Luke back here. What do we do, Annie? Keep him talking, Lofty. It's our only chance. Let Tag go, Carver. Talk a deal then. We'll make a trade. I get Luke, you get the kid. Come on, quit stalling! Settle down, Carver. You're not going anyplace. Tag, are you all right? Sure, sis. But I was kind of worried for a while. I wasn't sure you'd find the trail I left. <laughs> I knew you wouldn't part with your favorite hard rock candy without a mighty good reason. Remind me to thank Mrs. Allen for giving it to you. And remind me to ask for some more. <laughs> Luke gets into the canyon stage this afternoon. We're going to have quite a story to tell him. But not the story you think, Lofty. Drop your gun. Johnny! Thought you'd never get here, kid. I thought you'd switch sides. You thought right, Vic. I'm just giving you that break you say you never got. Get on your horse. Oh, but Johnny, he knows my Uncle Luke's on the Canyon City stage. He's got no gun, Annie. He can't harm your uncle now. Start riding, Vic. Sure, kid, sure. Sorry, Annie. He's my brother. I had to give him a chance. I understand, Johnny, but I'm still riding to meet that stage. I'll take Tag back to town with me. All right. you'll get off, Sheriff, for good. Keep that surprised expression, Luke, because you're going to die with it. I knew that stubborn streak of yours wouldn't let you run away from Vic Carver, so I had to do something about it. You're not sore, are you, Uncle Luke? It's pretty hard to be sore at somebody for saving your life, Tag. What'd the coroner have to say, Lockton? That's like we saw it out on the road, Annie. He broke his neck when he jumped from the stage. I'm sorry, Johnny. Sorry it had to be this way. It sure wasn't your fault, Annie. It's just kind of poetic justice, I guess. What do you mean? He said he wanted to break. I guess he just got one more than he bargained for. Mm -hmm. 